Hello and welcome to Creative Change Workshops. This is our first live stream and as you might have guessed I'm not actually in a luxury mansion as much as I would love this to have been my real house. I'm in a tiny back bedroom with a green screen. Oh and I almost forgot to introduce our fabulous signing BSL interpreter Caroline. Hello Caroline. And <laughs> um, we should have the link up at the bottom as well if anyone wants to access captioning. So if you click on that, it should set it all up for you. It might come up in a separate box, I think. So we'll give you a couple of minutes just to get that all sorted. And if there's any problems, you can just type in the chat box and my magical fairies will sort out any tech issues. We have a brand new magical fairy on the team called Jasmine. She's amazing. Jasmine, are you able to do like the big brother voiceover and say hello quickly? I haven't given her any prompting of that. She's like, no, I don't want to do that. Hello, everybody. Nice <laughs> to meet you. <laughs> so she's going to come to my rescue if there's any like mess ups basically with the tech. But I'm sure we're going to be all right. It's our first live. We've got a good team, we've got loads of awesome guests that we're going to meet. So we'll be good, we'll be good. Now, if you're watching on YouTube or on Facebook Live, if you could type in on the little text box and just say hi, it'd be really good to see who is getting involved. You don't have to worry about putting cameras on or coming on as a live guest, but we just want to kind of get to know you as a community. I've had so many people sending their work this week and it has been absolutely incredible. So we've got, I think it's about 13 different things to show you just tonight on our first night, which is awesome. So thank you very much. I think some of you may have, have thought this is going to be one of these very calm, collective art for wellbeing workshops. Right now from the offset, I'm going to tell you we are wild. You might have guessed that from the first theme being the wig of wisdom. As you can see, my hair is not really my hair. I've gone all out on the theme tonight, my beautiful wig of wisdom. But we encourage people to get dressed up because none of us get out much now, do we? We've all been in lockdown. So we want to make Friday nights a kind of time where you can be like, right, I'm going to get dressed up. I might put some makeup on. I might even put some face paints on. And we've got one of our guests tonight is the queen of face paints. We actually are going to start calling it Face Paint Friday as well. I've kind of let the team down a little bit tonight, I'm afraid. Long story. But Mandy has absolutely bought her Class A Facebook game. Jasmine, is it possible for us quickly to just get Mandy on just to showcase her face? Let's have a close up. Let's have a tour of your face, please, Mandy. Now, <laughs> my beak. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to explain your artistic concept here well you have to bear with me this is my train of thought we were going wig for wisdom so i kind of like went for wisdom and went for the wise owl i love it i went for the twit and you're the twee so we're a good team aren't we <laughs> i'll settle but for that but if you guys are feeling brave, I know you at the moment you're just kind of dipping your toe in the water, you're getting used to us, you're not quite sure what to expect. But hopefully, as you get to know us, you'll feel a bit more comfortable. And if you want to join in Face Paint Friday, go for it. We're all about that, all about that. So thank you, Mandy. We'll be hearing more from you later. Goodbye for now. And we're going to bring on our very first guest. Now, Tess has never been on a live stream before, but she is feeling super brave today. So she's going to be my first guest of the series. Hi, Tess. How are you doing? Hello. Oh, well, brave, I suppose. I am so impressed. Tess used to be such a shy person and she, her confidence has just built up and built up. And now you're just, you're a creative machine, aren't you? I do try, yes. I'm churning, <laughs> I'm churning, churning. You do. How's your cat thing going? She's making this amazing crochet cat sculpture thing, aren't you? I've finished the body. I'm just waiting for the stuffing to arrive so I can stuff her. 
Can we have a quick look? This has nothing to do with the show. This is a um, complete tangent, but it's, it's not within. Okay, our that's fine. <laughs> no worries. It's something for us to look forward to in the future. I'll um, bring good. it bring it next week if I'm um, for you. Fabulous. Now, Jasmine, the magical fairy, would you be able to get Tessa's work up for us to have a quick look at, please? <laughs> it's like no. I might be able to I might not give me one second well it's, it's looking cool anyway there's some good visuals Tess yeah awesome ah there it is is it now if you just got to make sure it's actually yours Tess because knowing it's, me I've probably got them all mixed it, up anyway. it is mine <laughs> fabulous do you want to talk us through this piece then um well basically you you can see three faces that's the three faces of my bipolar. Oh, wow. Um, so you have my level state, my manic state, and my um, depressed state. So they're my three faces. Wow, that's so, really uh, deep. It, yeah, yeah. And, uh, as I was doing it, I thought I'll add another one on, and that makes the three different states, really. Um but um, that sort of shows the struggles of bipolar. And so what about the words that you've chosen? Are there some well, that particularly stand out? Um, when I was um, cutting them out, I found that really, really relaxing, really mm. s sort of s almost zen-like to sit there yeah. and cut out and watch, binge watch Judge Rinder at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> love it, love it. Um, um, but they're all positive. Most of them are positive, I think. Um, and I've put that whether whether I'm down, if I'm down, I can, it will lift my spirits. If I'm up, it might calm me down. And if I'm level, it's just something to really look at every day. Oh, that is fantastic. I really mm. love that. And I love the way that you're just so open about, you know, who you are, what you've been through. Mm. And you've you've developed some amazing coping strategies for managing things, haven't you? And I think you're such an inspiration to us all, really. So thank you very much for sharing that with us. That's okay. Is there anything else you want to say about it before we move on? Um, not about that, but you just have to know that my craft, my art room floor is covered in newspaper with lots of mixed media pieces of cardboard on it. At You've the started already. I've started started already. That's amazing. Honestly, I should have like star of the week or something, shouldn't I? Because <laughs> honestly, Tess is like, she's got all her equipment, all the schedule ready. And as soon as that video comes out on a Friday, she is on it. I am on so, it. Yeah. <laughs> I can't wait to see that. That would be brilliant. And a little tip, the sooner that people send me in pictures, the more likely they are to go on the promotional material. <laughs> so you never know. You never know. You might be on the flyer next week. So mm. we'll see. But thank you so much. And if you Thanks. can stick with us and cheer on all the other people as well, that'd be great. Well done thank for going you. first. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> okay. Is everyone getting on okay with the captioning? We've not had any issues with that, so I'd check in. Yeah, should be okay. Good. Right, Charlotte, you're up next. Are you ready? We can see your art before we can see you. Hello. Hello, welcome. Lovely to meet you. And I, I'm so excited that we've got so many people that we've never met before are just getting involved in this and it's brilliant just meeting new people from all over the country whereabouts are you based i'm near salisbury oh wow I awesome yes. and i love this challenge i love the challenge um i think it's so accessible for everybody and it's oh. so purposeful as well because you can use the piece of art to look at when you're feeling frazzled or stressed later on um oh. But yes, it was a brilliant challenge and I want to do the next one as well. It's, it's looking good. Great. How did you find out about us? I was on the Grayson's Fun Art by Grayson um, Facebook site and I saw it advertised and I quickly jumped on mm. to have a look. But it's a 16-week challenge and it's free. 
so I've shared it with uh, work because I work for Homestart Hampshire and lots of Oh, we love Homestart. We love Homestart. Yeah, They're Homestart brilliant. Hampshire. Yeah, they are brilliant. <laughs> and um, lots of our families can't get out and do the art, but these challenges are so good that I'm sure some of them will be getting involved. Oh, fabulous. Thank you. And you're a bit of an artist yourself, I see. Yeah. Tell us a bit about I, that. I started six years ago. Um I've never had any formal training, but I have read a lot of books, gone to see a lot of artists, a lot of exhibitions. I had two older artist mentors when I worked at Age Concern who really helped me and I, I loved watching them paint. So I just go around their houses and talk to them and while they were painting. I learned a lot. So Oh, that's yeah. fantastic. Brilliant. So tell us about your piece. Well, as you can see, my hair is slightly messy and crazy. I woke up one morning after a very restless sleep and took a photo because I thought it was so funny. Um, so when you did your challenge, it was quite interesting because I know it was side on the challenge, but I thought I'd jazz up this piece with some really good words um, and some sort of strap lines and the colour I love. Um, I think I might have added a bit more glitter now, but <laughs> it's basically on... Um, a circular canvas I found in a charity shop and uh yeah oh, so I've added it. a bit of glitter now but I you know I think it's done now but every time I feel frazzled I obviously working in fundraising it's quite um a full-on and intense job so I use my art to um relax oh, and, brilliant uh, it really does help I love it when people sort of take a little glimpse of the ideas that we've put forward and then sort of come up with something quite fresh as well. Like I'm always quite intrigued to see what people come up with. But no, it's incredible. I didn't like that side of the mouth, so I thought I'd put the wording out, out that side of the mouth. So <laughs> I love that. Because we have a bit of a <laughs> thing in our group. We have a thing in our group that if something goes wrong, it's not gone wrong, it's just taken a new direction. And if it goes really wrong, we're like, it's conceptual art. No one really understands it, but it's very deep. So we just kind of roll with it, okay? If it goes best wrong. Day, it's best possible. day ever on that, that slogan. <laughs> so, yeah. Always you look really happy. Day. You look really happy in the picture. I think you you don't, I don't think you look scruffy. I think you look full of life, like really sort of I adventurous. Think, and Yeah, I put the word revelation on the left because I was, I think I realised that, I am me and it doesn't matter what anybody else thinks. I'm just going to be arty and enjoy myself. Oh, so I think fabulous. it was a revelation to me that I can show what, I'm, what I am. So yeah. it was good. Oh, excellent. Oh, well, hopefully you'll continue with us and you'll be a weekly part of our crew. That would be fantastic. It will, yes. Thank, thank you, you so much. And thank you for sharing us on, you know, on the home start stuff and everything. We really do want people. I mean, if you're if you're free now, guys, if you can share the link on Facebook to your Facebook page, that just helps us to reach more and more audiences. And we really do want people to kind of get involved. So that'd be great. Thank you so much. Lovely thank to you. meet you, Charlotte. And hopefully we'll see you next week, maybe. <laughs> cool. Take care. Bye. Now, I don't know if we've got Nikki and Jaden were next on my list, but I don't know if they're quite ready yet. Jasmine, the magical fairy, have they appeared in our magical waiting room? I'm just checking my phone to see. <laughs> um, I'm so organised. I'm not sure that they have appeared yet. I'm not sure if they're having problems getting in. Um, okay. But at this moment in time, they're not here. I'm so sorry. That's fine. Now, Jaden and Nikki are, are very special guests of ours. So even if they're late, I'm going to try and squeeze them in somewhere. So hopefully you guys won't mind too much. There's going to be a slight reshuffle of the schedule, but it will be worth it. They're actually, rather than submitting art, they're going to be the art. So that's why it's taking them a bit longer. I think there may be wigs involved. Um but it'll definitely be interesting and worth the wait, I think. So um, could we please have Nikki and Pete up next then, if that's okay? Hi. Hi. Hiya. Now, Pete is, Pete is a bit of a VIP in our crew because if you've seen any of our, in, our, our introduction to the topic videos, like our mental health one, 
You know, we have that fabulous little elephant called Herbie. If you haven't watched it, you might not have a clue what I'm talking about, but go watch the video later. Basically, Pete is the voiceover for Herbie. So when he talks, you might recognise it. Do you want to say something Herbie-ish for us, Pete? What do, you, what do we say, Herbie-ish? What do, you think, what's his, what's the, do we have classic Herbie lines? I don't think we do, do we? I, I, well, I used to work for BT, so I should be able to do a, a, a joke about elephants um, on the telephone making trunk calls, but I can't think of a really pretty <laughs> one at the moment, so I'll leave it at that. Brilliant. I think Herbie needs some catchphrases, don't you? We need, like, slogans that Herbie would say, just so we can stick it on a T-shirt, basically, because I do, I do like a Herbie T-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> We've got some ridiculously hilarious merchandise, which is not <laughs> genuinely is not like um a massive business plan it was just because we thought it was funny now pete pete is modeling a herd community face mask you can actually buy these from redbubble but i went all out with this and the design has been designed by mandy who you met earlier who has put owl face paints on and it was digitalized by our editor anna so it's been a team effort but we now have actually got on this ridiculous Redbubble website. You can get socks with Herbie on. You can even get the Creative Change Workshop socks, which are the most ridiculously overpriced socks you will ever see in your life. But I was like, I need a pair. Guess mm. how much they were? Four pounds, you say? No, no, not four pounds. Ten pounds? No, not ten pounds. Higher, higher. Over 16 pounds for one pair of socks. But they are amazing. So I might wear them next week and just stick my feet on the screen just for my own entertainment. <laughs> but um, but if you want to buy a herd community or creative change workshops bath mat, I believe they're available too. More for my amusement than for a legitimate business <laughs> proposal. <laughs> but I'm glad that you've got that. There. I've act I've got oh I've got one here actually. Yeah, I've got my, my herd community face mask here as well. Great. I've got I've got some mugs as well, all about the merch. You can't you can't be a YouTuber and not have merch, can you? It's just like the law. <laughs> Even if no one buys it, it's just a thing you have to do. So long as you're anyway. <laughs> Sorry, Pete, go for it. I am properly waffling. I mean, you say this is merchandise, and I'm I'm promoting this, and we're we're um, supporting herd community. Yeah. That's okay. Yeah. I think um, there was there was one item that was. Um, you can get a clock. You can actually buy a clock with creative, with creative change workshops. On. I might get one of them. I don't know where I put it in my in my in my pretend house here. I would love to live in this house. How cool is it? It's amazing. <laughs> anyway, back on topic. We, I, I no longer have fairies that are actually in the room with me to say, "Move on, Hannah. Move yeah. on." So the ADHD takes over, and I go on proper tangents, but. Hopefully you're still with me. Is this Nikki's or Pete's, this one? This, this one's mine. Great. Nikki, do you want to go for it? Ex explain this beautiful creation to us. Well, I like your idea of looking up because you're, I always feel more positive if I've got my head held high. So I'm sort of, it's probably a little bit exaggerated there, but I'm sort of looking upwards. I'm looking forward and I've got hope around the edge. I love that. And um, I got, I actually got loads and loads of positive things out of my WI magazine. You know, it's sort of quite a positive organisation. I got a Hold On, Be The Change, Togetherness and um, sort of happiness and all that um, on there. So, yeah, I, I just went through... And like Tess, I found it quite fun. Just, oh, look, no, that's quite positive. Oh, that's a nice word, you know. <laughs> and with the le with the hope bits in the background, is are they photographs that you've made the letters out of? I was trying to work out what the little individual pictures are. There is actually, it, it had the word hope like this on the WI magazine. And it's loaded. Oh, I see. It's WI, you know, sort of the WIs have sent in and things they're doing and stuff. So, yeah, the, the words, the letters for hope just came ready-made for me, which was fantastic. 
Fabulous. That's just given me like another idea for an activity though. I'm like, how cool would that be to cut out lots of little actually like our photographs to make the word hope or, or joy or something? That'd be quite cool, wouldn't it? Yeah. And I love the colours. Do the colours mean anything in particular to you or did you just like like the way they work together? I just liked it and I was sort of trying to get a nice sort of combination on the hair of sort of like purples and greens and blues because I thought it would go in nicely with the actual sort of the background um, sort of colour that I did it on. I love it. Purple and teal together are like the dream team of colours in my mind. <laughs> so, winner. It's awesome. Right, Pete, let's have a look at yours. We can get it up on the screen. Ooh. Okay. So, yeah, okay, right. So this one um, is made, it started in a similar way to Nikki's in that we took photographs of each other's profiles and then printed the pictures to give us the guidelines. Um, in this case, what I did was, having made the profile, I then cut out the, the head shape and used the remaining card as a mask, the bit that the head had been cut out of, stuck that on first and tried various ways of painting um, the, the, the face part, um, although actually didn't work very well, so I just overpainted it with yellow. I had all sorts of ideas, but I had to change them, so I thought I'd just stick with yellow. And then I took the mask away and put the head cut out on to paint the background and then added the words afterwards. Now, as it happens, um, I had a, uh, a magazine from something I belong to, which is uh, actually the Civil Service, Service Motoring Association, um, now called Boundless, and they send out a regular magazine. And they had an article about mental health because it's such a, a hot topic. A lot of organisations are putting mental health things in their publications. And it had um, an article called Headspace. And so most of these words came from that particular article. So that was perfect. But I just looked for positive verbs and adverbs and adjectives and just uh, just pasted on what I had. That so. is awesome. And I love I love the thing that I love most about it is the fact that you tried and experimented with stuff. And what I really want to encourage you guys to do is don't seek perfection. Try stuff out. And if it doesn't work, it, it does take a new direction. And, and to kind of just enjoy and learn from that process. So that is a perfect example, Pete. So thank you. Okay. And to me, it reminds me of a comet because you're you're very into your space and planet stuff. I don't know if it's because I know that about you. But to me, it kind of looks like a comet flying through the universe. In, well, that's how I kind of initially saw it. Hmm. I can definitely see that, yeah. And there was a recent uh, um, meteorite uh, impact in... Um, uh, Gloucestershire so uh, the, uh, a meteorite was recovered quite recently and that hasn't happened for 30 years I think that was probably in the back of my mind when I uh, produced this piece oh we're getting a bit of like psychoanalysis stuff going on now I like that <laughs> your deeper unconscious self has produced that <laughs> no it's great love it and I really like the bright yellow against the sort of darker blue like it's, it's, it really shines and it was different from what I originally planned. Uh, I hadn't planned to do it that way. Um, I just uh, tried something. It, it didn't work. It evolved. It evolved, it evolved Pete. It? Organically. It, it, organically and scientifically evolved, which is the best way. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Thanks for joining me. And thanks for your continued work being the voiceover for Herbie. And you. goodbye for now. Hopefully see you next week as well. Bye for now um okay so any of the guests that have been on in my little secret magical guest room if you could log out now and then go and watch the rest of the show on either facebook or youtube that would just give room for the other people to then join if that's okay and you'll be able to do all your typing on the chat box and the whole world will be able to engage with you so that would be fabulous awesome um, I'm going to quickly check my phone to see if I'm going to call them the live art performers already. Um, okay. I think they're probably not just yet, but hopefully I'm building up the anticipation of how incredible they're going to be when we do see them. 
So who have we got next? Oh, we've got the lovely Mandy. Can we bring Mandy the wise owl back, please? Hello. <laughs> I do. I do love the fact that Mandy brings her face paint game every week. Like even when, because I, I used to like try it and do like these really lame ones because face painting is not my forte, but I sort of did these like, slight attempts before but each week you come and you are a piece of art you are performance in and of yourself which is brilliant <laughs> and I know you've had like a really busy day as well like you've been at work and like you've had appointments and stuff and yet still you're here in solidarity and you're rocking an owl <laughs> face paint look which you know <laughs> serious brownie points there Thank Mandy you. will actually Mandy will actually be presenting some of our workshops soon as well. She is a very talented illustrator and she designed our little Herbie character, which was later digitalized. I've got him here actually. Got oh, Herbie. brilliant. Some of you brilliant. might not have known this, but I ran a little project a while back during lockdown called Herd Community. And you can find out all about that or not. We've got a Herd Community Facebook page. And we basically just made literally a herd, like tons and tons and tons of milk bottle elephants, didn't we? How many have you got in your herd, Mandy? Um, I've lost count, but I've got some more of them here. But they are incredible. And like people love these, these little herd elephants so much that we actually got to display them at like Suffolk Archives. And we marched them all around this giant hall and they were in ex exhibition cases and everything at the hold. And they're just incredible, aren't they? I don't know if I've got Brittany nearby. I made one called Brittany when I shaved my head during lockdown. And um, obviously since then, there's been this whole mental health campaign thing of Free Brittany. And she was in like a little resin block, which was meant to be isolation. So it's, it's now got like a whole different meaning from, you know, when we first started, hasn't it? But yes. Certainly has, certainly has. <laughs> so if you get a chance to check out the Herd community page, there's still time. I can hear myself echoing a little bit. I don't know. Yeah. Anyone else hear that or is it just me? That's that little voice on your shoulder, Hannah, that keeps telling the you what to do. The angel and the one that's saying drink full fat yeah. coke, Hannah, look. <laughs> <laughs> At least you know I'm human. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Unlike you, Mandy the Owl. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Shall we look at your work then? That might be a good idea. You may, you may have a <laughs> Oh, I love this close up. You can't use that. That's so true. They are actually a mayor and frozen. Because uh, I, lo I love my throats. <laughs> Do you, want, do you want to read them out and tell us all about it? Must I guiltily drink my Coke? Well, I've gone for sort of like a ripped up version. I don't like neat lines. I've kind of like, so everything that I do is kind of like ripped up. Um, but these quotes are my favourite from Maya Angelou. She is such an amazing lady. Um, if you've not read any of her stuff, just pop her into Google um but yeah that that's what's inspired me on this and i had my water paints out so um i painted that background first and done some little flowers <laughs> and we've even got some sparkles on there <laughs> Do you know it reminds me of sort of you know those like pagan images of like the sort of earth mother or goddess of mm -hmm. nature type thing. it really reminds me of that kind of thing just sort of so much sort of nature related things there as well it's, it's nice and springy like as well yeah. I mean, we've really got to grab onto that at the moment because um it just it changes everybody's mindset doesn't it, it just makes us all a bit more smiley you know and it's yeah 100 percent. i know <laughs> during the winter time i have to have one of those little sad lamps seasonal affective mm -hmm. disorder lamps so i've got fake sunshine to try and make me happy and it does work it really does work but it does, I mean, when you wake up in the morning and the sunshine you know it just it does it instantly makes you want well not so much to jump out of bed maybe slowly step out of bed but it just, it just makes you a bit more happier doesn't it eh? I yeah you, and you can't beat real sunshine I mean 
walking down the street when there's real sunshine. You can feel the warmth on your skin. You can hear the birds. Honestly, it it transforms your whole perspective for the day. So yeah, I oh, really absolutely. get that. <laughs> really get that. And you've also done lots of outdoor walking and stomping to raise the money in the last year, haven't you? Do you want to tell us a bit about that quickly? I have. Uh, back in August, um, I was supporting a charity, Refuge Women's Aid, um, which I'm a great advocate for. They've helped me lots in the past. Um, and any opportunity to get outside. I, lo- I love the exercise, but I just hate the thought of doing it. So I did a sponsored walk where I was doing uh, two miles a day, 62 miles throughout of August. Um, and I, re- I can't even remember how much money I, owe, I raised now, but I absolutely loved it because where I live, it was, um, I wasn't quite brave enough to go out on my own into like the woodland areas and things. I mean, it's, it's perfectly safe, but I just thought I'm going to look so daft. But I got past that. I put on my bright pink T-shirt and I was out there every day. (laughs) I loved it. (laughs) That is awesome. And we're going to be hearing more from Mandy in a few weeks' time about um, her experiences of um, overcoming and thriving after domestic abuse. And and it's, it's, it's amazing to see you shining now, like... You know, Mandy, you just you're amazing. Well, she's one of the oh team, God, really. Yeah. She started she started off as as one of our members, and now I've just recruited her. So, the best way. No, I'm love I'm loving it. I love anything sort of like. Uh, in fact, I mean, I I will just come out and say now. When I turned up at the refuge, um, the first thing I asked for was a pen and a bit of paper so I could sit and doodle because it's just a little bit of escapism and it's so therapeutic so that's where you know that's where it's took me from <laughs> absolutely I, and I totally relate to that as well and especially collage for me I think um was it Tess that was saying it earlier there's something about collage just even if I just sat cutting things out and didn't actually stick them on just the act mm-hmm. of just sitting down and, and selecting things and cutting them out for me. Oh, it's, it's the ripping up it. of stuff for me. It's just ripping stuff up. It is, yeah. Um, I'm in my happiest place when I sit on the floor. I always sit on the floor. Pens, paint, glue, glitter. That that's me, and I'm happy. <laughs> and you're you're the queen of decoupage as well, aren't you? Oh, I do my best. <laughs> Any object lying around is at high risk of being covered in beautiful it, patterns. It gets mandied. It gets mandied. <laughs> and even furniture as well you've done loads of stuff haven't you so. I have yes yeah just got to add my finishing touches to bits <laughs> awesome well I'm pretty sure that Mandy will have her own YouTube channel soon in fact it's <laughs> such a talented talented bunch we can just end up like all setting up on our own and all following each other and that would be totally awesome so watch this space absolutely <laughs> right I'm just gonna check my phone and see if I, I'm going to refer to them as VIPs, but please know you're all VIPs. Yeah. You're all very important. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, ah, right. So, Magical Fairies, wherever you are, I've got um, a message saying that Kathy can't get in and neither can Nikki and Jaden. So, please, can you wave your magical ones? And magical fairy Oliver might be able to assist you, Jasmine, in contacting them. Hi. So, um, this oh, yeah. is me. Um, hi, Mandy. Sorry, I'm just going to remove you from the screen. Thank you so much for talking. Bye for now. <laughs> um, that I have enough people, like enough space now within the stream yard. So if they click the link, they should be able to join and I'll let them in. Excellent. Let's hope that they're watching. <laughs> Now, who's next on my list? Right, so next up, we're going to look at Leslie's artwork. Leslie can't be with us tonight, but she still sent in some beautiful work. So we're going to have a little look. Now, I love the fact that she has put her side profile as well as the actual Wig of Wisdom creation. So we can see how well she's done it, actually, because it is real. It's quite tricky. And I don't know about you, but when I was doing it, I was like, oh, no, look at my chin. <laughs> or chins, I should say. But um, but I think she's done this brilliantly. Um, and she's got all of these lovely words. I think she's mainly used sort of magazines and newspaper. 
But I like the fact that she hasn't actually painted it and that the colours naturally from the text are kind of shining through. Um, Jasmine, have we got any comments from the live feed about this, maybe? So I can't actually see them at the moment, but I think it would be good if we could have cheerleaders far and wide to be talking in the chat and, and sharing what you think about people's work so we could sort of get a conversation. Hi, We've had lots of people in the live chat on Facebook and YouTube. Hi, Tess. Hi, Debbie. Hi, Daisy. Sally. Um, and also in the private chat here on the StreamYard amongst all the creators, everybody's been saying how great everybody's work is. And yeah, so leave a comment, everybody. Make sure you join in. We love to uh, hear hear your comments, hear your feedback. Excellent. And Jasmine, if there's any particularly good comments, if you want to stick them up in the banner so that I can see them too, that would be good. Because um, I think it's, it's really important that we all sort of, oh, Justin Rumsby, I'm so glad that you have made it. I was harassing Justin earlier today saying that he needed to come on the live because we love his hilarious comments. And he comes up with things that are like deeply profound or hilarious and you never know what he's going to come out with. A lovely flowery and fragrant headdress. I love that. But goddess of spring. That's what I thought. Yeah, there's lots of that. Thank you, Daisy. We love Daisy. Daisy is awesome. Daisy of Art Eat and Arts La Olam. So we've worked with her before and she is fabulous. Sally, Sally Miller. She is a cheerleading regular, exotic flower lady. Yep, wonderful. Oh, Mandy, you're back, but you don't look like an owl. This is what she actually looks like in case you were wondering. Hello, happy, oh God, it's going too quick, wild and free. That's what that's what Friday night's all about, to be honest. If you came here for a serious instructional video, you're in the wrong place, guys. It's all about fun, all about experimenting and getting together and creating. So wonderful. Hello, Tess, and well done. You were very brave going first. You did brilliantly. So hopefully that will encourage more people to maybe join us next week. So if you want to be a live guest, don't forget to get in touch. Now, and Leslie said that she really enjoyed doing this. She found it really relaxing. And it was just a nice activity for well-being. So hopefully she will join us next week as well. And maybe watch this on the catch-up. Okay. Next, we have Caroline. Can we see Caroline's thing? Oh, and Nikki has said the, the link's not working, Jasmine and Oliver. Just let you know. Um, okay. Caroline, are you with us? You might be on the live stream, but not as an online guest. If she is, it would be good if we could see her comments as well. But I love the fact that she started out just by doing like a self-portrait. And, and this sketch is like quite incredible, actually. It's because she's she hasn't done much shading. She's done quite, quite, quite bold kind of um. Hi, no, Hannah. Sorry, sorry, I don't think Caroline is in the live stream. That's fine. That's good to know. So hopefully she'll be watching on catch up as well. But um, I just think she's 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 already a very talented artist, and I love the way that she's actually rather than using cut up pieces of paper, she's used maps. So her thing, rather than being the wig of wisdom, she has made the map to positive mental health, which I love. Kind of like a sat nav. I quite like the idea of a sat nav as well. I've got too many ideas. Oh, Caroline is here. Hi, Caroline. Good. I'm glad you've made it. We love this. Like, absolutely love it. Wouldn't it be good if there was a sat nav for positive mental health and you could just get in your car and be like, can you just drive me there, please? <laughs> that would be so much easier. Anyway, scientists get on that. That would be really helpful for all of us. <laughs> <laughs> Any more comments on this one? Because I think it's quite a unique one. I bet I bet you're all putting loads of stuff in, but there's a slight delay. Oh, Justin Ramsby, her hair is a journey. I wish I wish you guys could picture Justin like I can at the moment because he's he's he is the comedian of our group. Um and, and he comes out with these deep statements that are just like He'd be great in a conceptual art gallery. He would, he'd be all over that. 
Caroline, my daughter said my drawing was very scary. I don't think it's scary. I think it's lovely. And I really like the way that you're really confident with the pencil because a lot of people do these kind of light, light, light sketches and then slight shading. But you've kind of just gone for it. You're quite assertive. And it's like, I mean, oh, yeah, we've got some more comments. Now it says, love the map collaging idea, Caroline. It's great. And it's, it's quite deep and profound. I mean, I know I'm joking about Justin's comments, but actually some of these, this can't, you know, when we're looking at reflecting on ourself and, and our mentality, these can be quite deep subjects, actually. So awesome. I don't, I kind of, I don't want to skip on. I want to hear some more comments, actually, because I really like these. <laughs> They're awesome. Tess thinks it's great. I love the angle as well. I wonder if she took a picture and then copied it from the picture. Oh, Kathy's here. Well done, Kathy. We're glad we've got you in. Got more guests lined up. Friday night. It was the 2010 cycle routes in Bury St Edmunds. Oh, so it's local to Suffolk as well, which is even better because if that is the route that you take and that's what you do to clear your mind and make yourself feel better, then that's even more relevant. So fabulous idea. Nikki's here. Hooray, 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 hooray. Oh, and we've got more comments saying very striking image, Leslie. Um, so I think I've missed a few of these, sorry. <laughs> um, just my brain never switches off. Oh my goodness. Thank God it doesn't use electricity. <laughs> Love it. Right. Nikki, can, is there a way that we can get Nikki center stage? Is that possible? It's not Nikki and Pete, it's Nikki and Jaden in the building. Sorry That's to be Jayden. confusing. Jade, uh, can, can we do it so that he's the spotlight rather than me? Well, the three of us, that's cool. You look terrifying. You look like a dark knight that's going to come and like, kill me or something. Jaden is eight years old, by the way. He is a celebrity, so he needs to like cover his identity for security reasons. Um, and what what is this piece of art about then? Please tell us. Your, is this your wig of wisdom or is this your wig of war? Because it looks quite scary. It's a hands wig, isn't it? What that do you reckon? One of the wigs that Hannah brought round. Yeah. I have quite a collection, you see. So now like, I'm able to distribute them far and wide. <laughs> <laughs> It looks good on you, though, but I would, if I met you on a, on a dark alley, I'd be quite terrified, personally. But I like the fact that you've got, like, the silhouette, like, from the Wig of Wisdom pictures, and then the red hair, yeah. quite wild and free. You are a piece of art today, Jaden. It was a bit and... rushed, wasn't it? Because Nanny was trying to do her. <gasps> oh, can we look at Nanny? Justin scared of Jaden, by the way, in the comments. Can we go a bit closer, Nikki? Can we see what are what what are these words? I love it though. That's awesome. It's terrifying, it but it's awesome. It didn't go very well. You can. Um, I think it has. I think it's awesome. You can see you can see the tights that are on my head. <laughs> tights. I love it. That's I love the fact it. that you have gone all out for this, Nikki. You you guys have been worth the wait. I've been saying to people. You're only 45 minutes late, <laughs> but it was worth it to see this. Well, this is I like performance a, art. Yeah, I had a problem with the link. I had to copy and paste it. And as this is a mental well-being type one, um, I had a bit of a punk attack. <laughs> oh, bless you. But you're here. And not only are you here, you are here and dressed to perform. So that is absolutely flipping incredible. So round of applause. Well done for making it. Well done for doing it. Well done for showing up. We are proud of yeah, you both. The, how I did it with the words, it's um, the words that I relate to mental well-being in a good place and ones for how to get to that place and how to maintain it once you're there. Oh, wonderful. 
So well, maybe we can take some. See. Yeah, I was thinking if maybe if you can take some pictures after we've done the live stream. Yeah. With the different angles, then we can post them in the Facebook group, and then people can see all the different aspects of it. But I love it, and I'm so proud of you both. So thank you. You're thank amazing. You. Jade and the VIP is in the building. We've missed you. Can't wait to see what you dress up as next week. Hope you've got lots of ideas. <laughs> Caroline says the masks and wigs are amazing. They are. They're fabulous. Absolutely fabulous. Nikki is never late. She is early for next week. Love you too. Yes, exactly. She's just fashionable. And she's wearing some very unique costumes. So yeah, it works. Well done for showing after the panic attack. That is that is most of the battle won. And in all seriousness, like I think most of us have experienced some kind of anxiety at some point in our lives. But to have just faced that and then to come on a live stream in front of all these people, seriously, like that's incredible. So thank you so much. And we're actually going to have Jaden and Nikki will be producing a lovely instructional video in our last module. So watch out for that they might look quite different I'd imagine by that time so you might not recognize them <laughs> marvelous mask making and collaging Jaden and Nikki Sally says that is so impressive cheerleader Sally respect Nikki yes 100% 100% you go girl and that's the thing like I really want people to come here and just feel they can be themselves like Obviously, we don't have to share our whole life stories, but you don't have to pretend to be something that you're not. You know, if we've had a rubbish day, just show up as you are and we'll have fun and we'll support each other. We'll be cheerleaders together and we'll have creative ideas to show. So that's what it's all about, really. Next, we're going to have a look at Anna's work, hopefully. I don't know if Anna is on the live. Hopefully she's watching. I reckon she is. Anna is actually our editor of all of our videos. And she animates Herbie the Elephant. So she's a very talented creative in her own right. And she has come up with this. So she did it digitally. But how awesome is that? And it kind of reminds me a bit of um, Game of Thrones Khaleesi. You know, that kind of like white hair. Well, I suppose a bit like this. There's real strength to it. Like, you know, I'm a woman, I'm a warrior, you know, love it. And I really like the shapes and the way that it kind of goes round in circles as well. Can we show you maybe some of the comments about Anna's work, please? If possible. I mean, that could be like a print in its own right, couldn't it? You should be digitally licensing that, I think. Or put, put it on Redbubble. You can make some T-shirts out of it or like a bath curtain. Like, <laughs> I'd buy it. I'd love a bath mat with that on. Born to create and shine. Love it. Oh, thank you, Charlotte. That is very, very encouraging. But all about positivity here. We acknowledge when things are rubbish. But we're all about let's see the good in, in each other. Um, now says she loves this. Caroline says that's really cool. I think the whirly bit is the thing that I really like. It's kind of like, because sometimes when you have thoughts that are going round and round your head, but actually these are positive things that are going round. So sometimes repeating like a positive mantra or something can be a really good thing to do. Sally says, makes me think of being out in the theatre land with neon lights advertising. Oh, yeah. Of course, it's a long time since we've been out in theatre land I'm just thinking about London and crowds and stuff but the show must go on and it will come back and we will enjoy the theatre again I'm sure James says this is beautiful it is isn't it it's and I love the fact that although she's done something quite quirky and different she's used the same kind of side profile portrait which is quite a traditional um format really Sally likes the word shine. And it literally looks like it's glowing, doesn't it? Which is even better. Breathe. Love it. You can, yeah, I think you can make your millions distributing that one, Anna. So go for it. Go for it. <laughs> right. Sally, you're next. Sally's been cheerleading us 
throughout the evening and now we're about to see her work. Here it is. Now, I haven't got my piece of paper, <laughs> Sally. I was going to read out all of the stuff that you sent me because you sent me some really, really interesting stuff. So hopefully you can reply to what I'm going to say. You said to me that something to do with CHIME, I think it was an acronym. Um, oh, yeah. Is it, is it this bit at the side? No, that might be a different bit. So she said, she said this amazing model that was really good. And I can't remember what it was other than the word chime. So if you could chime in now, Sally, and explain it, that would be great. And I'm really sorry that I'm not pre more prepared. But it was something to do with like connection. Each letter stood for something. Hi, Hannah. I will, I will find it and I will post it up on the screen. Give me. Yay. <laughs> Thank you, Jasmine, the magical fairy. I think she's earned her wings tonight, don't you? I, I physically posted Oliver some wings when he was doing this job, like back in the day. But I'm well impressed with Jasmine tonight. So expect some random wings in the post. Okay, Jasmine? You can you can give me colour preferences, but you may be obliged to do a photo shoot wearing them just so I can show everybody. I like some wings. I don't have any wings, but I'm not sure if I'm, am I a fairy? Not sure. Ah, right. I really enjoyed doing this because it's a good way to express yourself. Finding the words was just so relaxing. The words are a mixture of things I find help with anxiety, wildlife, garden, and of course, art. Lots of colour in the paint. Um, and the drivers of mental health recovery chime. This is what I was talking about. Connection to people and things. Hope, identity, meaning, and empowerment. Now, I need to write that down because I think that's really awesome, actually. Um, and it's a good thing to kind of check in for your progress. So, yeah. And think of the mind as a house in need of repair. I love that analogy. That actually works really well for something we're doing in a couple of weeks as well. So I might steal that if that's okay, Sally. Yes. Guys, you guys are so profound. It's brilliant. And I love the cats. We we do love cats in this group. We're big cat people. Um, particularly ginger cats. That's a kind of like a current theme. Seems to me just perfect. <laughs> but there is a real sense of serenity there, isn't there? And I think sometimes oh, time, connection, hope, identity, meaning, empowerment, the drivers of mental health recovery. Yes. I feel like I should get that tattooed on me or something. I have a bit of a habit of doing random things like I've got a dory tattoo that just keeps swimming little things just to remind me love the bright flower in your hair yeah the pink really stands out doesn't it it's beautiful and um I'm sure Sally said something about the cat being symbolic of something <laughs> did, did I miss that bit or have I already yeah I can't remember but basically, I think the cat represents kind of serenity, transformation and pink flower. Great. Yeah. Excellent. And we've got repair. The, oh, the ideal of calm exists in a sitting cat, which seems to me just perfect. Well, that exactly. Wonderful. The calm sitting cat is perfect. It is. I'm quite jealous of it, to be honest. It looks so serene. I have ADHD, so I'm rarely serene. I'm kind of jumping all over the place most of the time. Don't know if you can tell. <laughs> anyway, we're all different, aren't we? It would be boring if we were all the same. So thank you very much, Sally. Is there anything else that you would like to share with us about this? I think everyone just loves it, basically. Welcome garden guests. Oh, it'd be nice when we can welcome garden guests, actually. That's coming up soon, too, isn't it? As we're starting to come out of lockdown. So hope is a big thing, isn't it? We're on our way out of this pandemic. And the sun is shining. We're going to start connecting with nature again. It's going to be great. Next up, we are going to look at, I, I used to call her New Mandy, but I can't really call her that anymore because we've, she's, she's been following us for over a year now, so she's no longer new. But she's not 
She's not as established as old Mandy, but we can't call her old Mandy either because it's a bit rude. Owl Mandy is who I'm referring to for the other one. Amanda. Love it. <laughs> not so new Mandy. That's what I'm going to call you for now. So she actually found this quite stressful. And I really love the fact that people are just blatantly honest about stuff. It's so refreshing. So she's not particularly a collage person, but she thought she'd do the activity and get involved anyway, and she gave it a go. And I think what she's produced is amazing. So I'm sorry that you found this stressful, but I'm really, really pleased with what you've produced. And I think it's incredible, especially the daydream a bit. I mean, I really relate to that, definitely. And pink backgrounds, really vibrant. Um. Yep, Sally was saying she enjoyed making it thanks to the comments. Awesome. And have we got any comments on not so new Mandy's? Or if she's here, she's welcome to comment too. I think last time she was more on the catch up, but I'm glad to have you with us anyway. Amazing, Amanda, a labor of love well worth it me thinks yeah me too and I really like the daydreamer and the head in the clouds kind of analogy because I didn't see that at first but again there's all these kind of hidden meanings that like you don't necessarily see straight away so it's beautiful thank you for your hard work and hopefully you can join us next week too okay moving on oh my goodness we've got like three minutes left so we're going to overrun, I'm afraid, but hopefully not by too much. But Kathy, you are next, and you're here, which is brilliant. So let- well, how do I get? How do I get there? You're here. You look amazing. No, I, I love don't. Your I'm hair. Right. I, I love I, your I got, hair. No, it doesn't matter. These are the uh, pink brushes I've been working with. It doesn't matter. I mean, this is. This is mad. This is bloody mad trying to get on here, you know. But you it's okay. did it though. Well done. You did it. You persevered and you did it. And we're really proud of you. And I love your hair and your paintbrushes. And can, can we see, see your wig of wisdom? Yeah. We can see it. So we might need Jasmine to put the picture of it on the screen. Screen share. Probably yeah, screen share. Yeah, she's going to do that. Oh, shit. Honestly, this is technology. I'm an old woman. I can't do You're technology. You're amazing. I hope, I tell you what, I love your hair and your paintbrushes. I hope I look like that as I mature. As you're 54. Yes, I think so. <laughs> um, but yeah, I love the waterfall. Do you want to tell us a bit more about this picture then, Kathy? Yes. I will, uh, if it's up, because I can't, I can't yeah. bloody we, see it. But, we, um, we can see it now. We can see it. Right. Um, I, I looked at visions. I thought, well, where's wisdom? Wisdom comes from other people. Um, oh, hang on, I want the piece of paper. But well, I've got a piece of paper. Um, it's about like a cascading knowledge down for generations. Cascading knowledge. We we cannot cascade down knowledge without facing it. So I, mm. you know, got the bloody silhouette and I faced it and I faced it and I faced it. And then I got into it and then I had to have part of it. And I don't know if you could see the words. They're all mental health shit, you know. I think it's incredible, honestly. Really? And- honestly I love waterfalls like that's my one thing is like if I'm going to plan a holiday I'd love to go to Canada or somewhere like that or the Lake District because waterfalls they're so powerful aren't they but there's, no, there's something about it that might, don't worry if you get section 136 and then get a bloody police caution they're not going to allow you to go to America or Canada well that's a shame I can dream anyway I can dream I'll plan an imaginary holiday in my head can you actually see me? Yeah, we can. We love your hair. Your hair well, is, is, is 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 art in itself. I think, to be honest with you, I can't see you. Honestly, I'm, honestly, I've got technology around me, and I am completely stuffed. Anyway, 
if there's somebody else who is completely stuffed, then press everything. Um, <laughs> I would, I would, I would completely recommend pressing everything until it happens. Oh shit, pencil. That see those paint. See those paintbrush. Yeah, see I love them. I think they're fantastic. No, they want to come out and they want to paint. That's why those bastards coming out of my head. Well, I can't wait to see what you create next week. So we would love oh, to have you is. have you back. Yes, we absolutely love it. So thank you so much. And if you would like to come back next week with some more creations, we would love to see that too. And we just, you know, come as you are. We're, and I, I really love her hair. I think it's brilliant. Maybe I should have paintbrushes in my hair. That would be quite cool. Anyway, thank you, Kathy. Great to meet you. And last but not least, we have Naz or Nazuma, as some people call her. Hello. Hello. <laughs> you look so glamorous today. I love it. We've got new hair. Well, what I thought was I would have I've, I've got a naked face, very unusual for me. I usually have the face paints on, but I thought it's all about the hair. It's the wig, isn't it? So you know those bendy sticks that we all bought in the 80s yeah well, I and I thought oh I just twirl it in my hair and I left them in for an hour and look what's done I think they're great <laughs> but you could never sleep in them could you because they hurt your head too no much. that's right <laughs> I remember it well and I got but, my hair big badge look oh oh other side brilliant yeah, yeah. Right, here we go <laughs> absolutely awesome so yeah Check out the merch if you want to. It's very <laughs> overpriced, but we love it. <laughs> um, so let's have a look at your fabulous creation. Last but not least, we need our magical fairies. Oh, oh. and what a surprise. It's purple. <laughs> On purple, a purple background. You've been purple, using a purple background. <laughs> it, it is your colour, isn't it? Naz is Certainly. the queen of purple. Do you want to tell us about it then? I love it. Well, I am I do like my acronyms. So I thought Wig of Wisdom, W-O-W. -W. Well, I'll, I'll change it and I'll do Ways for Wellbeing. Oh, I like. My hair is consisting of all the things that are kind of keeping me going. Um, I mean, there's, there's one there that I, I'm like you. I love cutting and tearing out for collaging. And there's one phrase there, certainty in uncertain times. And I felt that everything I was collecting was my little routine because we've lost our routines to a certain extent. Mm -hmm. So the things like having the radio and the music to keep me going and the books and the friends and everything um, is, is, is everything that you know, means everything nowadays. So, um, yeah. <laughs> and I'm like everybody else, I'm anticipating a hair salon appointment. So there's my silver not grey, silver hair coming through Ooh, the roots. Oh, I like that. Beautiful. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm quite embracing the wigs now, to be honest. Like, most of you guys will see that in most videos, I'll just swap my hair. <laughs> because it's quite fun. Yeah, I, we don't get out much. So it's an excuse to get dressed up. But you may mistake me from totally different people because of my hair. So sorry <laughs> about that. But it is what it is. It is what it is. So, and I love the little dots that you've done. We that, that kind of looks like those um, Australian Indigenous people artworks oh, yeah. that we did. Oh, I may have had a bit of influence there. I might know on the yeah. stone. Yeah, I did a lot of dotting there, didn't I? With my gold pen, gold paint rather. Yeah, mm, love it. <laughs> but those those colours work really well, and it's strange, isn't it, looking at side profiles? Because I think I wouldn't look at that and think that's Naz. But I bet it is quite accurate. It's strange, isn't it? Because obviously we look at people face onwards most of the time, don't we? It's been quite interesting to see the gapping, actually, because mine is quite wide and everybody else has been quite narrow. So it's nice. How I had to know, look up. I had to like <laughs> elongate my neck. Otherwise, it was just chub, chub. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But no, it's great. I enjoy it. I love it. And it's been nearly an hour, so I'm afraid we've kind of come to the end. <laughs> but I've had a brilliant time. We've seen some fabulous work. So thank you for joining us. We've now released the new episode, um, the instructional video two, which is mixed media. 
And that is great fun. There's a lot of sensory play and it doesn't matter if it goes wrong. It's all about just exploring new things and having fun. So regardless of what it comes out like, I would love to see your work. If you could email into info at hannaharia.com, then I will get to see it. If you would like to be brave and join us as a live guest, that would be even better. But at the same time, we definitely welcome lurkers. Lurkers, welcome here. So if you want to just be chatting on the little chat box, but you want to kind of hide away, you don't want to show yourself on screen, that is absolutely fine too. We just kind of want you to get to know each other, share ideas, have fun, and have something to look forward to on a Friday. So Charlotte says, this is very different. It's great, feel good, creativity to keep you going. Ah, awesome. I think I missed Eve's comment earlier as well. I was talking and then I got distracted and then the comment had disappeared. So sorry, Eve. Thank you that you're watching. I think um, I think she actually watched me do a lecture at a university this week. So thank you for joining me. That was awesome. Eve, there she is. I like the two faces. It makes them seem like there's someone there to help. Oh, I like that. Yeah, that is really cool. Awesome. And please come back next week. We would love to have you. Um, that's kind of it, I'm afraid. Um, I really wish this was my actual house and I was going to go back to this fancy lifestyle, but it's sadly not true. But I'm grateful what I have got and I'm grateful that we are safe and healthy and on our way out of lockdown. Tess says, love tonight, can't wait for next week. Brilliant. Same with Michael. Hi, Michael. Uh, Michael is part of Swefen's Edge. Um, and they are fabulous. They are creatives that do soundscapes and meditation stuff and everything. So big up to them. Louise, thank you. Love them all. Amazing stuff. Brilliant. It's great just to see so many new faces. And we would really like to encourage people um, that may be deaf or hard of hearing. If they want to come on the live and chat to us using BSL, we can have interpreters to facilitate that. We really just want to bring all kinds of you know, different communities together and just have creative fun. Okay, so well done, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us and we'll see you next week. Bye for now.